Hello, dear students. I hope everyone among you will be fine. Today we are going to discuss this very important concept in genetics, that is dosage compensation. Here we will also discuss the X chromosome inactivation, and we will also discuss the concept of bar bodies and how to calculate the number of bar bodies in a cell. Now let us start. What does dosage compensation mean? Dosage compensation, you know, dosage compensation. Let me first write the definition. It is basically a mechanism. Dosage compensation is a mechanism by which, by which organisms, by which organisms equalize, by which organisms equalize the expression of expression of genes on. chromosomes but especially on x chromosome on x chromosomes on x chromosomes in both in both sexes now what does that mean let me let me tell you you know if we talk about you know if we talk about the male if we talk about the male and here and here we will look towards the female here we will look towards the female male you know male is always heterogametic heterogametic means it contains two dissimilar chromosomes while as the male while as this female female is homogametic homogametic means it contains two similar chromosomes now if we will talk about the difference with regard to the x chromosome here the male contains only one x chromosome and here the female contains two x chromosomes the if we, if we talk about the y chromosome you know y chromosome also contain the genes but the main function of those genes which are present on the y chromosome is that they help in determine the maleness they help in determine the maleness because because y gene you know y gene basically contains a gene called as a sry gene SRY gene. The main function of SRY gene is that it forms uh, a product that is called a TDF. 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 What does it mean? ST is determining factor. ST is determining factor that is that is responsible for the development of ST. Now here we don't have to deal with the Y chromosome. We have to here deal with the only the, the X chromosome. So if we talk about the difference in the two sexes with regard to the X chromosome, X chromosome, for example, X chromosome contains genes. Okay, na? For the sake of simplicity, for the sake of simplicity, let us take uh, let us take into consideration that this X chromosome contains suppose ten genes. It contains ten genes. Okay, na? While as uh, here the female, it contains two X chromosomes, so it will contain double. the number of genes it contain 20 for the sake of simplicity it contains for example 20 genes so here it is only 10 genes here the female contains 20 genes so this seems to be an indiscrimination it is an indiscrimination indiscrimination with regard to what indiscrimination with regard to the genes indiscrimination with regard to the genes present on the x chromosomes but you know you will just keep in mind but this uh, indiscrimination is overcome this indiscrimination is overcome by a very special mechanism called as a dosage compensation now what does dosage compensation i have right here dosage compensation is basically a mechanism by which organisms by which organisms equalize they equalize they equalize the expression of genes equalize the expression of genes ka kya matlab hua we have to remove this indiscrimination if it is if the if the if the male is containing 10 genes on the x chromosome female should also female should also contain only the 10 genes so let us uh, let us see in in the uh, how the how this mechanism is achieved now this dosage compensation ka kya matlab so it is basically a mechanism by which organize organisms equalize the equalize the expression of genes on x chromosomes in both the sexes in both the sexes means in both male and the female it is called a dosage compensation you know if you will try to focus on the term if you will try to focus on the term dosage compensation what does that mean it means we have to compensate we have to compensate we have to compensate what does it mean term it means we have to compensate the doses doses with regard to what doses with regard to genes doses ka matlab hua with regard to genes so we have to compensate said the amount of genes present in present in both present in both sexes that is why it is called a dosage compensation now the mechanism by which do, by which this uh, dosage compensation is achieved that is basically called the x chromosome inactivation and what does this x chromosome inactivation mean uh, x chromosome inactivation you know it is also called as a lyonization l y o n i s a t i o n lyonization lyonization because because it was discovered by very uh, important uh, genetist whose name was mary 
एम ए आर वाई मेरी लयॉन मेरी लयॉन दैट इज वाइट इज कॉल्ड लयॉनाइजेशन ठीक है ना सो दिस एक्स क्रोमोसोम इन एज एन एम इंडिकेटर एक्स क्रोमोसोम इन एक्टिवेशन सो वी विल अगेन लुक टुवर्ड्स द क्रोमोसोमल कॉम्प्लीमेंट हियर इट इज इफ दिस इज इफ इफ दिस इज फॉर एग्जांपल मेल इफ दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल एज द फीमेल मेल इट कंटेनस इट इज ऑलवेज हिटेरियोगैमेटिक इट इज ऑलवेज हिटेरियोगैमेटिक एंड दिस फीमेल इट इज ऑलवेज होमोगैमेटिक इन केस ऑफ द मैमल्स नाउ व्हाट डज इट मीन एक्स क्रोमोसोम इन एक्टिवेशन That means one of the X chromosome, for example, for example, this chromosome, one of the X chromosome always remains inactivated. One of the X chromosome always remains inactivated. Why it remains inactivated? In order, in order to the main aim of this inactivation is that in order to equalize, in order to equalize the expression of, in order to equalize the expression of genes in both the sexes. Now, one is the one, one is the one of the X chromosome is inactivated. So here it come, it can, it will now contain ten genes, as I already told you, for the sake of simplicity. And now it also contains the ten genes because uh, because the another chromosome has been inactivated by this very important mechanism called as the X chromosome inactivation. Now, you know this in how this inactivation is achieved. You just keep in mind because the X chromosome. If we if we draw the for example, if we draw draw the structure of you know this is the chromosome, this is the short arm and this is the long arm. Okay, na short arm of the chromosome it is always represented by uh, it is always represented by P. It is always represented by P. Why and this uh, this long arm of the chromosome it is always represented by Q. It was asked us in the previous uh, NEET examination. P का क्या मतलब हुआ? P basically refers to petite. P E T I T E. Petite in French in French petite का मतलब हुआ short. Short. And after the P alphabet there comes the Q. That is why short arm is represented by P and the long arm is represented by Q. You will just keep in mind. Now. Uh, uh, near the centromere this is the primary construction this is called centromere near the uh, this uh, centromere uh, we have a special uh, we have a special region for example this region this region is called a x chromosome in activation center this is called a x chromosome x chromosome in activation center and in this in this uh, x chromosome in activation center a gene is located suppose this gene and this gene you know this gene is called a zist gene x i s t zist gene so it is a zist gene zist gene ka kya matlab hua what does it uh, what does it stand for zist ka kya matlab hua x ka matlab hua x chromosome a i ka matlab hua inactive x chromosome inactive spastic spastic transcript t ka matlab hua transcript so that is what how it stands for transcript so zist stands for x inactive spastic transcript it is basically a gene you know it is basically a gene that is that uh, that is uh, that uh, whose transcription basically occurs iski is wali gene ki basically kya hoti hai iski transcription hoti hai to ye kya banata hai ye basically beta banata hai aapka zist ye banata hai aapka zist transcript zist that is called zist transcript to ye aapka zist banata hai zist transcript lekin uska size jo hota hai wo kafi large hota hai iska size jo hota hai is wale transcript ka that is large it is large it is all it is almost 17 kb in size 17 kb in size so what it does this this mrna this zist transcript what is does for example if this this mrna one is this for example if we we'll talk about this is the mrna so this mrna what it does it it covers it it envelops it envelops the whole this what we call as the chromosome it envelops the whole chromosome making forcing all the genes forcing all the genes that are located on this x chromosome to become inactive so what what is the function of zist gene i will repeat zist gene is a gene that is located that is located in a spastic uh, center called as a x chromosome inactivation center x chromosome inactivation center is a center that is located near this uh, centromere and this zist gene it is its transcription occurs it is transcription occurs and it forms a zist mrna and that zist mrna you know it form for example it forms the zist mrna and that zist mrna what does it what is it its function what is the function of zist mrna it covers it covers the whole it covers the whole x chromosome it covers the whole x chromosome once it covers the whole chromosome that means it does not allow it does not allow the genes that are for example one gene is present here one second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth it does not allow it does not allow these genes to express so is wale zist gene ki transcription hoti hai lekin iski translation nahi hoti hai rather ye jo mrna aapka ban gaya ye mrna cover karta hai सारे जीनस को जो प्रेजेंट होते हैं आपके इस एक्स क्रोमोजोम पे जिसकी वजह से ये जो सारे जीनस होते हैं इस पे वो क्या रहते हैं हमेशा वो रहते हैं बेटा हमेशा इनएक्टिव
ठीक है ना तो जस्ट सो इट इज इट इज द मेकेजम हाउ दिस एक्स क्रोमोजोम इन एक्टिवेशन इज अचीव यू जस्ट कीप इन माइंड ठीक है ना नाउ इफ यू टाक अबाउट इफ यू टाक अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बार बॉडीज इफ यू टाक अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बार बॉडीज यू नो अगेन आई विल फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई विल इफ दिस इज मेल एंड इफ दिस इज वट वी कॉल एज द फीमेल इफ दिस इज मेल एंड इफ दिस इज फीमेल यू नो मेल इज ऑलवेज एक्स वाई फिर से इट इज ऑलवेज सिटीरो गेमेटिक इट इज अगेन वट वी कॉल एज दिस दिस वट वी कॉल एज होमो गेमेटिक इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव टू काउंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बार बॉडीज वट आर बेसिकली बार बॉडीज बार बॉडीज आर बेसिकली इन एक्टिव वट आर बेसिकली बार बॉडीज बार बॉडीज वाई दे आर कॉल बार बॉडीज बिकॉज दे वर फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड इन द फीमेल कैट दे वर फर्स्ट डिस्कवर्ड इन द फीमेल कैट बाई इन द फीमेल कैट बाई बार एंड बर्टम B A R bar and bertum B E R T A M. That is why they are called bar bodies. But but these these bar bodies are basically these are basically inactive. These are basically inactive X chromosomes. ये क्या होते हैं बेटा? ये basically inactive X chromosomes होते हैं. और ये जो inactive X chromosomes होते हैं, ये हमेशा होते हैं packaged packaged in the in this important chromatin called as a heterochromatin. Heterochromatin, you know, chromatin is basically the material of which the chromosomes are composed. And chromatin, you know, chromatin is basically chromatin के क्या मतलब हुआ? Which is made up of what we call the DNA, which is made up of what 